Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel on engineering mathematics. In this video on nonlinear programming problems, we are going to see steps involved in Lagrange's method to solve NLPP with one equality constraint. Next we will see one solved example and finally an exercise. So let us proceed with first point, how to solve constraint NLPP. NLPP with one equality constraint can be solved using Lagrange's method. Let us understand Lagrange's method by considering following NLPP. Here we have to optimize z is equal to x1 square plus x2 square subject to the constraint x1 plus x2 is equal to 1, given that x1 and x2 are both non-negative. So this is our NLPP, we have to solve it using Lagrange's method. Let us proceed with step 1 of Lagrange's method. Here we construct the Lagrangian function denoted by L which combines the objective function and the constraint using multiplier lambda. So let us define L as z minus lambda into h, where z is the given objective function and h is the given constraint. Let us substitute for z and h, we get L is equal to x1 square plus x2 square minus lambda into x1 plus x2 minus 1. We label it as equation number 1. Now we proceed to step 2. In step 2, we find the partial derivatives of L with respect to basic variables x1, x2 and the Lagrangian multiplier lambda. That is we have to find dabba L by dabba x1, dabba L by dabba x2 and dabba L by dabba lambda. Let me show you the calculations of these three derivatives. Dabba L by dabba x1 can be obtained by keeping x2 and lambda constant. So derivative of x1 square is 2x1 derivative of x2 square is 0 because it is constant, derivative of minus lambda into x1 is minus lambda, derivative of minus lambda into x2 is 0 because it is constant, similarly minus lambda into minus 1 that is lambda is 0 because it is constant. On the similar lines you can find out what is dabba l by dabba x2. I found it is 2x2 minus lambda. Let me show you the calculation of dabba l by dabba lambda. For this we have to keep x1 and x2 constants. So this x1 square and x2 square are constants so their derivatives are 0. Derivative of minus lambda x1 is minus x1. Derivative of minus lambda into x2 is minus x2. Derivative of plus lambda is 1 because it is with respect to lambda. Now after finding these derivatives we proceed to step 3. In step 3 we have to solve the following system of equations and find the values of x1, x2 and lambda in this particular case. This is that system of equations. Here we have equations dabba l by dabba x1 equal to 0, dabba l by dabba x2 equal to 0 and dabba l by dabba lambda equal to 0. Let us substitute values of these three derivatives over here. So we get 2x1 minus lambda equal to 0, 2x2 minus lambda equal to 0 and minus x1 minus x2 plus 1 equal to 0. This equation when simplified gives us 2x1 is equal to lambda, this gives us 2x2 is equal to lambda and this gives us x1 plus x2 is equal to 1. From these two equations we see value of lambda is 2x1 and 2x2. So both of these values should be equal. So we write 2x1 is equal to 2x2 this 2 and 2 will get cancelled, we get x1 is equal to x2. Substituting x1 is equal to x2 into this equation, we get 2x1 is equal to 1, which when solved, we get x1 is equal to half. Substitute x1 is equal to half over here, we get x2 is equal to half. Similarly, substituting x1 is equal to half over here, we get lambda is equal to 1. Now, solving this system of linear equations, we got values of x1, x2 and lambda. Now we proceed for step 4. In step 4, we find the optimal value of the objective function at the optimal point obtained in step 3. In step 3, we found optimal point is x1, x2 is equal to half, half. Then substituting this point in objective function, which is z is equal to x1 square plus x2 square, we get optimum value of z as 1 by 2. After this, we determine whether the optimal point is the point of maxima or minima. We find determinant of the following Hessian matrix 
to obtain the same. Here is that Hessian matrix. It is a 3 cross 3 matrix where column wise entries are 0, dabai h by dabai x1, dabai h by dabai x2. Second column is dabai h by dabai x1, dabai 2l by dabai x1 square, dabai 2l by dabai x2 into dabai x1. Third column is dabai h by dabai x2, dabai 2l by dabai x1 dabai x2 and dabai 2l by dabai x2 square. But we know L is Z minus lambda into H. So we simply replace all these L's by Z minus lambda into H. So we got this Hessian matrix. Now let us obtain values of each of these entries in the matrix. Note that if the determinant of this Hessian matrix is positive, then we say optimal point is point of maxima. And if the determinant is negative, then we say the optimal point is point of minima. So the value of Z obtained is either maximum or minimum is depending on the determinant of the Hessian matrix. So if determinant of Hessian matrix is positive, optimum value of Z is maximum. If determinant of the Hessian matrix is negative, then the optimal value of Z is minimum. Let us proceed to our case. In our example, this was Z, H and lambda. Now we calculate Daba Z by Daba X1. It is simply 2x1, daba z by daba x2 is also 2x2, daba h by daba x1 is 1, daba h by daba x2 is also 1. Then we calculate daba 2z by daba x1 square minus lambda into daba 2h by daba x1 square. Simply differentiate daba z by daba x1 one more time with respect to x1. We get only 2 minus lambda is 1 daba 2h by daba x1 square can be obtained by differentiating this with respect to x1 one more time. It will be 0. So we get only 2 over here. On similar lines, you can find out daba 2z by daba x2 into daba x1 minus lambda into daba 2h by daba x2 into daba x1. To obtain this derivative, we differentiate daba z by daba x1 that is this with respect to x2. Of course, it is going to be 0 because there is no x2 over there minus value of lambda is 1 into we differentiate daba h by daba x1 that is this with respect to x2. Of course it is 0 because 1 is constant. So value of this derivative is 0. Next we obtain value of daba 2z by daba x1 into daba x2 minus lambda into daba 2h by daba x1 into daba x2. I found it is 0. Similarly value of this derivative is also 2. Guys, you can pause the video and check these derivatives. Now we substitute values of these derivatives into Hessian matrix H. I found this is the Hessian matrix. Now let us calculate the determinant of this Hessian matrix. The determinant is minus 4. Then as I said earlier, if the determinant of H is negative, then optimal point is point of minima. Therefore, the value of z that we have obtained is the minimum value of z. I hope guys you understood this example completely. Now we will see one more example on this. Here we are asked to use method of Lagrange's multiplier to solve following NLPP. We have to optimize function z is equal to 4x1 plus 8x2 minus x1 square minus x2 square subject to the constraint x1 plus x2 is equal to 4 given that both the decision variables x1 and x2 are non-negative. Let us proceed for the solution. First, we construct the Lagrangian function L given by z minus lambda h, where z is the objective function and h is the constraint. Substituting z and h into this Lagrangian function, we get L is equal to 4x1 plus 8x2 minus x1 square minus x2 square minus lambda into h is x1 plus x2 minus 4. Now we proceed for step 2. Here we find the stationary point by solving following equations that are daba l by daba x1 equal to 0, daba l by daba x2 equal to 0 and daba l by daba lambda is equal to 0. Let us find these derivatives. First daba l by daba x1. For that we have to keep x2 and lambda constant. So Derivative of 4x1 is 4. Derivative of this term is 0. 
derivative of this term will be minus 2x1 this term's derivative will be 0 this term's derivative is minus lambda this term's derivative is 0 and again this is constant so its derivative is 0 so dabba l by dabba x1 is 4 minus 2x1 minus lambda is equal to 0 similarly you can calculate dabba l by dabba x2 i found it is 8 minus 2x2 minus lambda equal to 0 and dabba l by dabba lambda is minus x1 plus x2 minus 4 equal to 0 you can pause this video and check these calculations further we simplify these equations let us first add these two equations therefore we get 12 minus 2 times x1 plus x2 minus 2 lambda is equal to 0 but from this third equation we see value of x1 plus x2 is 4 so we get 12 minus 2 times 4 minus 2 lambda equal to 0 so 12 minus 2 times 4 that is 12 minus 8 is 4 minus 2 lambda is equal to 0 therefore lambda is equal to 2 now we substitute this value of lambda into equation number 1 therefore we get 4 minus 2 x1 minus 2 equal to 0 and from equation 2 we get 8 minus 2 x2 minus 2 is equal to 0 solving this equation we get x1 is equal to 1 and from this equation we get x2 is equal to 3 so now we say the optimum point or the stationary point is p is equal to 1 comma 3 now let us determine whether this point is point of maxima or minima for that we need hessian matrix this is the required hessian matrix let us find these derivatives first we know l is this objective function minus lambda into constraint therefore dabba l by dabba x1 will be 4 minus 2 x1 minus lambda dabba 2 l by dabba x1 square is derivative of this with respect to x1 which is minus 2 dabba l by dabba x2 is equal to 8 minus 2 x2 minus lambda differentiating this one more time with respect to x2 we get dabba 2 l by dabba x2 square is equal to minus 2 similarly i found dabba 2 l by dabba x1 into dabba x2 by simply differentiating this with respect to x1 is equal to 0 and dabba 2 l by dabba x2 into dabba x1 obtained by differentiating this with respect to x2 is equal to 0. Therefore, after substituting values of these derivatives into this hessian matrix, I found this h is this. Next, we calculate determinant of h. I see determinant of h is 4, that is, it is positive. Therefore, the stationary point so obtained is point of maxima and the value of z obtained by substituting this stationary point in it will be maximum value of z. So, let us substitute this point in this objective function z. So, z at 1 comma 3 is 18. So, this is the maximum value of z. I hope guys you understood this solution. Now, it is your turn to solve some examples. These are some of the practice examples for you. Guys, please write me in comment box whether you got these solutions or not. Please also write me how much useful you find this video is. Till I publish my next video, keep watching my videos, keep solving these examples. Thank you all of you. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe my YouTube channel and press the bell icon to get updates about my new videos.